there are products available for to use as piping. To use just a plain zip zip bag. I cut off the top because it kind of gets in your way. And I get it all in down into the corner. And then I take my scissors and I cut a very tiny hole for the snowflakes. We need just a little bit. And I have had to use different bags, gone through a few bags to get the right size. They're easy to clean up. You know, when you get done, you just throw them away. Now I'm going to make a snowflake. And I feel like these bags give you a little bit more control too. And I just take a little bit. You want to touch your frosting to your cookie so that it sticks. And I find that the first one is always just a little shakier than the others, but I find that the consistency of the icing is important because if it's too thick, then it doesn't come out. If it's too thin, then you don't have control. And just as if you're using another tip, you kind of need to keep your tip clean. But I think it needs a little bit of bling. And I do this in a paper plate so that when I get done, I can return, you know, I don't waste. So. Here's your I'm going to show you how to decorate a tree using variegated green. And it really makes a very colorful tree. And it's quite easy. I, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, can we do that? How can we do that? So we start with the darkest green. Five, you want five blobs, and then you take a popsicle stick. And so you do your first row of five. Then the next row is four. And you do the same thing. And I use the same stick, only I just turn it over. And here's the third one. And we put three, three blobs. Same thing, we draw it out, and then we put a white, and we put two. And we top the tree. Give this tree some edible glitter. And there you have your Christmas tree.